Hey everyone, this is Corey at security.org and today I'm going to talk to you all about motion detectors and how to get the most out of them. Now I'd guess that you're pretty familiar with these devices, motion sensors, motion detectors, whatever they may be called. They're one of the core components of a home security system and they do just that. They detect motion, they sense motion whenever something happens in your space. But what about some of the more practical day-to-day -day where the rubber hits the road questions regarding these devices? Like how far and why do they detect motion? How many motion sensors should you have or where should you even place Place your motion sensor? Well, those are some of the questions and more that I'm going to answer for you today. I'm going to show you examples of different kinds of motion detectors from various home security companies out there today because that's what we do here at security.org. We have all the products and we test them. And just a quick note that if you are looking for more content like this, home security foundations, essentials, basics, 101 courses. We have an entire playlist on our YouTube channel dedicated to this, to upping your home security knowledge. Go check it out. Now to begin today, motion detectors come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, as you can see by the four that I have in front of me right now. For example, here you have a motion detector from Cove Home Security, which I would say is the most traditional looking. This device from Ring Home Security, the Ring Alarm second generation motion detector, I'd say this is taking a bit more of a modern approach on a motion detector. Then we have a device from Blue by ADT, and this is an interesting device having a flat front and an indicator light on it. And finally, the smallest and roundest of motion detectors, which is coming from Simply Safe. So how far and wide do these motion detectors work? Well, most of these motion detectors are using passive infrared motion detection to sense motion within a particular field of view. For example, with the Simply Safe motion detector, it has a 90 degree field of view of where you'll be able to capture motion. How far? Well, with the Simply Safe motion detector, it's about 30 feet of motion detection range. And generally speaking, most home security motion detectors are gonna provide you with a similar statistic when it comes to field of view and range. However, there are differentiating factors that can make a motion detector stand out in the crowd. For example, with Simply Safe, it's designed specifically with pets in mind. When installed with the orientation facing up, it will be searching for motion straightforward and down. However, if you have pets, you can go ahead and turn the motion detector over. It will now search for motion straight forward and up. Now let's shift to talking about how many motion detectors you actually need. And of course, this is gonna depend on your specific home's situation, your layout, all of that. Generally speaking, you're at least gonna to wanna to have a motion detector for each point of entry in your home. So your front door, your side door, maybe a door to your garage. If I happen to have more motion detectors available to me and let's say a bunch of windows in a living room or something, maybe I would place another one in that location. But generally, at least get all of your main doors covered. Now specifically, where should you be placing your motion detectors? Well, corners are best. There you're really able to maximize the amount of space that is covered by a single motion detector and you can get really strategic then in your placement choice. Take for example the placement of my Simply Safe motion detector. I have it in the corner of my living room and it provides coverage for both my front door and my front windows. So one device providing motion coverage for two entry points really. Most motion detectors nowadays make it ridiculously easy to actually place them where you need them to be with the addition of double-sided tape. Now you see with the Cove motion detector, you have the 3M double-sided tape. You just go ahead and peel it off, stick it where you need it to be. And you notice that it's not only just flush on the back, but you have these like diagonals for easy corner mounting. When it comes to how high you should be mounting your motion detector, that's all gonna depend on the brand itself. They have different recommendations. For example, with uh, Simply Safe, they recommend four to five feet for your motion detector. But for example, Blue by ADT is more like six feet. So you can expect a bit of a range, anywhere between four to six feet, sometimes even higher if you have pets. A few other notable items here. Number one, make sure that nothing is obstructing the view of your motion detector, you know, any large objects that would mess with the motion detection. 
Number two, if you're using PIR, passive infrared motion detectors, consider heat sources. Don't place them in direct sunlight or near a heater or radiator, because that can affect the ability for the motion detector to actually pick up motion. From there, I would just recommend testing out the motion detector. I mean, walk around in the space near, far, see the range that it's gonna be detecting motion. If it's not performing to your expectations, try making a few adjustments. You can change the placement on the wall higher or lower, or you can just move the device to a different location altogether. Additionally, most motion detectors allow for some degree of sensitivity adjustment, either within the mobile application where you can go from less sensitive to more sensitive, or sometimes there's a physical switch or button on the device itself that you can adjust. Taking that time to properly place and dial in the settings on your motion detector, definitely worth it in the long haul so that you're able to capture those motion events at the times that matter most. So there you have it. That is how to get the most out of your home security systems motion detector. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked it, give us a like. Consider subscribing to our channel, security.org, where we're dropping the latest in home and digital security. And until next time, we will see you in the next video.